Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we finished our protective custody and solitary confinement areas on the left hand side here, and then we spent about 100,000 generic units of currency placing in all of the flooring, which was something a little bit different. In this episode we want to do a couple of things. Firstly, I've been meaning to do some odd jobs from several feedback suggestions, etc. that people have had and uh, left in the comments, and then we're going to perhaps not necessarily complete the prison manufacturing facility grant, but at least build the facilities for at least working towards that so basically the workshop over around here or maybe even down there or maybe even both I haven't yet decided either way let, let's just crack on so as I said a couple of odd jobs in no particular order first things first the canteen the serving tables are as people suggest uh, people said the wrong way around so I'm going to turn those around so they are correct they will actually still function perfectly fine in the, this uh, orientation here it's just I haven't uh, got around to changing that over to this visitor door as well and I'm going to begrudgingly dismantle it. It's something that I've been not wanting to do but uh, anyway I'm going to do that because the teacher doesn't go through it yet. For some reason the the visitor door, it does seem to be that the person um, that's uh, running all of the stuff in the chapel would depend on what type of uh, person comes in because you have different uh, religious leaders and stuff when they come in they yes yeah, so they use that visitor door perfectly fine and the parole seems to work fine with these doors although I say parole works fine parole and visitation actually don't work at all at the moment and I've seen that for, I saw that for a quite a number of episodes but I thought it was just a bit of a glitch and it would be patched out but apparently that has not been the case so basically I'm going to have to alter the uh, grading so over to our deployment and then to well just shared and just change that to shared and then those to shared and that should actually function perfectly well actually I'll probably have to reschedule all our programs here reschedule all there we go because the parole hearing was obviously set for two different types of prisoner grading so there we go anyway over to our walls and doors and then two doors and I want to place a staff door in here and that should hopefully fix that one over to objects and then down to this canteen and place the serving table in the correct orientation which that should be correct so that door's in there to fix that one those have been changed around to the right orientation this should also be dismantled and we should remove that wall there because this actually should be shifted up to around about here because it's going to be a clone of this and in its current orientation basically you will come through the door and see a line of people sitting on the toilet so we don't really want that on our hands so we'll sort that out and there we go loads of people in visitation it is now functioning excellent so that is okay I'm glad to see that fixed the issue although obviously we will have to uh keep an eye on these. It means that basically the whole grading thing doesn't work for visitation, which is... <clears throat> yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> why on earth that is a bug I do not know and furthermore why it's not been fixed yet I really don't know either anyway let's go and shove the extra wall in down the bottom there this has now been placed so we should be able to check deployment and yes that is access by everybody which is fine that is fine why is that just set to oh that's that's actually for that's the custom sectors min sec and medium board apparently it works with the with the classroom anyway so it's it's just custom sectors with certain types of certain types of rooms so i'm just making sure that that's changed also i do want to go ahead and go to where is it uh do I want to place them in there? At the moment, if we go to walls and doors, we can't actually have, we don't actually have access to that area and that area. You can see they, uh, they are stuck there, but what we could probably do is place a wall in there and um, put like a wall there and wall there, although it might not function based on where the entrance is. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm happy just seeing the little markers there. I'm not really too bothered. The problem is if I place them there, it might invalidate these working. And if these stop working, then the whole system breaks down. So I, I can handle a little marker to say we can't get access to there to clean it as opposed to, you know, the the alternative. Anyway, so that is now sorted over there. We've got that door in there. This is working. Those are functioning. These serving tables are now being placed. It's currently eat time, which means these guys are probably quite hungry and we haven't actually fed them because, well, they haven't had at the moment, or so, well, since we started the episode, they haven't actually had any serving tables. Now that that's sorted, we can see that the cooks are coming over the steel footbridge and then working their way that way, and that is still, by the look of it, a... Yeah, a, a gym box. It says move it to storage, and storage is is empty. We can actually place it in there, yet it won't go in there because of 
because of reasons to do with footprint user. Anyway, they're going to crack on with that one. Anyway, so we've got those sort of there. Oh, and that's also something that people see just suggested that I think is actually a good idea. In these areas here, we currently don't have any beds, but what would be a nice idea is if we put in the old bed, an old-fashioned prison bed, more comfortable than a foam mattress, but less than a standard bed, and it decreases the cell's grade. This isn't a cell, however, it is a solitary area, and putting a bed in here actually looks pretty good because it's like one of those fold ones, so I think it is quite fitting for a solitary cell. So placing that in there has... Uh, hopefully helped out. We can see over there the uh, Stephen Rennie 42, you can see they've had a lot of time in there and the effect is suppressed and they've got many many pluses on that one so they are under heavy suppression there. Anyway I'm just going to force open that door there. This one we should probably go ahead and put some automated door controls in. I would like to some automated door controls on here on any of the pathways that go along here and then on this end because for some reason this is still not opening. They're tired but they're not doing that there. How many guards do we have? We have 20 six regular guards and 14 available so it is just look of the draw that that oh there we go that person is finally going to to sort that out anyway current free time we're going to do a shakedown tonight because it would be uh, worthy of doing I think that's been blocked up these have the windows put in that's all being graded properly these are fine haven't yet put any more grading in these cells but I do want to do that so let's crack on with that one that's a uh, that's something I've remembered as well to put in the bookshelves in here because they currently don't have any um, although to be fair neither, neither does the entire bottom bit do I want to just grade literacy right across them too so this was always going to be the the medium ones, which is like a medium grade, whereas the other one's going to be a bit bigger. Um, I think so. I think we will go ahead and grade these ones. I wasn't going to put, increase the grade, but at the same time, having literacy available right from the get-go is, uh, I think, a uh, decent positive one there. So well, there we go. So we have people working. Well, people still uh, actually says they're sleeping in the chapel, but they're just praying before for bed there but we have now the visitation all working we have the canteen serving tables rotated around I've put in a couple extra windows where I forgot them I've graded this I've fixed that all over there this door is now sorted these have got all the beds in and I think that was about it there was a couple of others that I've already done been between but I think that's the bulk of the things that people have suggested to fix now let me go ahead to that and dump it because quite frankly it's just being a little bit annoying there we're gonna go oh that is a tunnel there that is not likely to be a legitimate one but we're gonna do it for a tunnel search all sectors first it's only 56 places, so it shouldn't take too long at all. We've obviously got it notched up uh, just one mark there, so it shouldn't take too long. <sighs> Today's beverage is green tea. Um, anyway, so that's all sorted there. Oh, yes, people have suggested putting in underneath the shower head, putting in a different type of flooring because the carpet would get wet. Correct, um, I agree. However, it logically makes no difference um, because, well, it doesn't make any... Uh, difference for me mechanically should I say not logically mechanically makes no difference and also you wouldn't be able to see it so it would just cost more money for something that we can't see that's uh, the tunnel search done so let's do a full shake down all sectors 261 places to search so a little bit more we have 800 and or 8231 generic units of currency obviously plus and minus whatever we find we've also got some daily cash flow just under a thousand there and that will probably head down because that may have already included uh, doesn't break it down enough it may have already included some of the logs that we've sold but Anyway, we're not getting those, so that is obviously going to go down. There is another prison, Simon Findlay, age 32, being released here, although they can't go in, <laughs> they can't get out, and these guys can't get in. And once they are released, we can check out our grading. So I'm hoping for good things, but at the end of the day, we haven't got a lot of prisoners, and there was a lot of time we spent without certain things, so let's have a look. So estimated, well, no, actually not even estimated, reoffending rate is 14%. 14 prisoners have been released. Not bad. Punishment is is six or so above the mid level reform is quite low at three but we've just started running that security at zero so 
that's a little bit disappointing. Health is at minus two. I've always found that getting health above even just one or two is quite difficult because it's to do with the people who are fighting and, and things like that. And if people try to escape and they get hit, then that also reduces the health rating, I think, as well. Prison value is just over a quarter of a million. Daily profits, 833. It's starting to reduce. Our f fatalities are zero, which I'm happy about. Capacity is 56. Death and custody is zero. Excellent. And not so excellent is prisoners escaped on three. Obviously, over the wall, we've had three people jump over the wall and do that. Paroled early, none, and executed, none. And that means that, basically, the parole, yeah, has never been working. But it should be functioning now, so I'm, hope, I'm hopeful that that starts to function as intended. And, obviously, visitation will start to increase a lot of the a lot of the grades there. We have pharmacological treatment for drug addiction. We have 10 finished, 6 passed on 60%. Education... Uh, qualification we're running for for the foundation and the general one alcoholics group is also on the go guard taser we can stop doing the guard taser parole hearing running loads of those as well same thing for spiritual guidance kitchen safety and hygiene this is a bit of a bone of contention because i never intended for the kitchen to be um something that people work in however it has been suggested that if we do that it would uh, help out and I don't disagree in any particular way. I mean, if we if we have them working here, then it would be quite good. But we'd have to set it so that it would only be medium or low risk people can work in there. If we check our laundry, if we go to our deployment here, this is set to staff only because we've got ropes. And I'm not going to change that until this outside major perimeter wall like this is established. But that is not the same for this thing. So what I might do is go for intake, uh, sorry, uh, insane sec, no, uh, min sec and med sec. We're going to change those to that. And we will actually have people start to work there. So we'll go over to our logistics prison labour and then we'll sign prison labour to that. Requires kitchen safety and hygiene, which we will go down and we'll set going there. 17 interested in the, in the job, but I'm not going to run more than one, I don't think think although if we run a couple it might work out yeah why not we'll run run a couple sadly only i think seven people can work in there at any one time so it's not ideal this shakedown as you can see we've only found some a packet of cigarettes and a cell phone so that's actually quite good all told only one more place to finish searching and there you are okay so now that people can work in here we won't need as many cooks eventually the main problem is if we check out deployment, we've got our... Why is this still saying we've got, like, a new thing to see? Hmm. Anyway, uh, this thing here. Oh, because you can assign uh, prioritised guards and stuff. Yeah, we've got that there. This little section here, which is still set to... There we go. That's... I was going to say, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get through that one. That one is still set to... Um, not shared the staff only one so now that this is custom with min and medium sec people should be able to work in there they'll still have to go through the staff door and I'm, i don't have a problem with that i don't intend to have anything other than a staff door there that intent may change as we might see people struggling to get in and out but certainly this is staying to a staff door these are visitors and the rest of it is all fine so we are releasing prisoners they are coming to the end of their sentences and also we will hopefully be running some parole but we'll see how we get on anyway we are going to receive two prisoners of medium security shortly let's just go over to uh, what's this medium uh, zero prisoners are ready for transfer zero cells available so yes that's fine we don't need to transfer those transfer we haven't actually oh we haven't that's all on default so it's fine intake is set to med sec fill capacity so there is our intake and also a lot of visitors coming along which is excellent over to intelligence and informants. We do have an unknown trait in the back there, so that is something we'll hopefully find out when we use our phone taps and things like that. We currently have a snitch, 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 and obviously ex law enforcement on top of that as well. But there are snack bots. So we go. Oh, we actually get. We're gaining some money because of snacks being bought. Where are they actually being purchased? Then is it in here? It's drinks machines, snack machines. I don't think we have snack machines in any place other than in here so maybe they've purchased from there so yeah you're making money from that one which is really good that's pretty good okay fine fine anyway so while that's progressing on we need to focus on i think getting up uh, one of the workshops and i think it's going to be this one here for no reason other than we can that person is unknown 
Unknown Toxicity Unknown. Prison number 913386 is the only known name for this fiend who, after being driven insane by his chemical concoctions, murdered dozens using deadliest poisons known to man and had developed a natural resistance to beware his genocidal escape plans. False imprisonment, violence disorder. <laughs> it never it never connects up, does it? Anyway. So, reports, grants, increased bank loan, 25 grand, foundation, and oh this is a thing do we want to have something like a a classy striped wall or something like that um no no i don't i think a standard brick wall is in order so there's that followed by fence grass and there we are this requires an entrance the entrance there will be only one entrance, I think. Let me double check the sizing. 24, excellent, so we can have it there. So it should be 11 by 11. No. Hang on, that's not gonna fit then, is it? 11, 11. Okay, so is that the middle? 11 to there. And... 11 to there. So that is the middle. So that's where our door is going to be. So over the doors, jail door standard, you can go there. That'll we'll crack on with that one. This is going to be our woodland area. And we'll obviously do forestry in there. And this one will be our standard work area. Not going to focus too much on the forestry side of it. There we go. There's some visitation. Nice. I'm also not too sure whether to put some visitation in here as well. Problem with that is visitation would require visitor booths. They cost ten. Uh, they cost a grand. So that'll be a fair bit of money to build that. You know what? I don't think I mind. That's now in. Let's get that done. Let's get that done. Obviously, I'll leave this as. Oh, bit of flooring missing there. I'll leave this as open for anybody to go in. I won't be able to change the the grading, sadly. But, there you are. Anyway, on the left-hand side, that's now built. Let me double-check the sizing. 11 to the far end. 11 to the far end. That's fine. That is in the middle. Over the walls and doors, brick wall. Brick wall will go either side, followed by a metal detector there. That's bare minimum, you understand. Once this is built, we will set up the staff only on this side. This side will be accessible by anyone. And they still haven't been able to remove that thing on the top of the steel footbridge, which we sort of expected. I'm waiting for the workers to crack on there, but I'm not seeing any. Mm. No, it's, all, it's actually all in, it's just the planning. Planning's already there, so I can remove that. Okay, so we haven't got any CCTV monitors at the moment that are free, I don't think, but I'll put one in regardless. Let me just place one in like so. I think that might be too much, and... I mean, just, I mean, just means some of them will turn on and off, so it's not a big problem. Over to deployment, staff only that side, but I'll open up that section. I don't know why that... Oop, no, uh, that's wrong. Uh, that's not staff only. I don't know why it's changed to be the like, outside section. It's a bit weird there. So, it's work slash free time. Just went over to eat there. So, I'm hoping that people have started going through that process of perhaps working in here. I didn't actually notice whether that was the case or not, but there you are. So this is now all connected up, so or rather it's in, so now we need to connect it up. Over to utilities and connect, and I'm going to connect the CCTV monitor to the new CCTV camera, which is now sorted, and you can see, yes, one of them is idle. So because uh, the maximum is eight, and we have nine connections, it means one of them will turn on and off now again. It's not a big problem. What we can also do, which I, it, it surprised me that people um, are not aware of this, but you can actually connect up the booths here, to the phone tap because obviously you've got a phone from one side to the other that's they don't physically interact so that's how they talk and it means that you can connect the phone tap up to that there which is pretty good i remember watching the the video about that and i thought it was quite interesting we've just had a prisoner released early there so that's pretty good i want to go for a forestry labor there we go so it allows you to put prisoners to work in the forestry area Forest area must be enclosed, prisoners to be assigned to work them, and prevent escapes beware. The prisoners will also require access to delivery areas in order to replant trees. So that's something that is 
quite new. We don't have a delivery area that's accessible, so they won't be able to work there. Sorry, they'll be able to work there, but they won't won't be able to, I believe, um, replant the trees, but other people should hopefully be able to do it. Anyway, over to objects, and we should know that that is nine to there, so that is fine. So we can have two sets of... This is going to be a... Where is it? It will be our table small. No, just a standard table. Actually, you know what I'll do first? Designate as workshop. So there's the workshop. Remove that section there. Don't want that. Over to objects and we'll put in a metal detector which will go in here. We'll go over to objects again and tables will go one and then two. Actually we'll sort of split it up, do that and that because in between we'll be able to put a bin. That should work fine. So let's just roughly work out exactly what sort of items we're going to have in here, the objects wise. So it could be three there and then three in there. We can't put another one sadly, so maybe we know we can have three there, gap of one, three there, and then if we wanted to, another row of... Do you want to put, do you want to put another row? We could have another row down here of these tables. Hmm, not entirely convinced, but anyway, we'll, we'll work on the principle that we'll do something like that. So it would be saws and presses, saws and presses, saws and presses. You get the idea. We'll have a same layout down here, but when we get near the bottom to this area, this will actually be a woodworking bench like that. Sadly, it's against the wall, but it doesn't really matter too much. Although we could do that and remove the central bits and have the woodworking table in there, and that would be a little bit better, I think. Mm. Do we need woodworking? We don't necessarily need woodworking. But I think something like that is is fine. Okay, so let's just power that up first. But that also means that we have to check our grid. Grid's actually running perfectly fine there for this bottom one, which is good because naturally this is going to run across and power all these up. So what I'll do is I'll run that electrical cable up to there, which should, should correctly power it all up. And we will unpause it and let them crack on there. Over to objects and then to our workshop saws. One, two, three, four, five. Presses will go one, two, three, four, five on that side. Carpenters tables, as I said, if I wanted to, I could put them just down there. It doesn't really matter. You can also rotate them as well. So perhaps we could do, uh, say, one, two, three. That would actually be better. That actually is better. So I'm happy with that. We'll, we'll put three carpenter tables in. And then speaking of tables, normal tables, one, two, one, two. And then see the bins that go either side, because a lot of stuff will get nicked in here. So <laughs> we have to uh, make sure we stop all of that. Over to our doors and then to actually a standard door on the back there is perfectly acceptable. It is perfectly acceptable. Now this is where my knowledge does fail me somewhat. So at the moment we have our workshop here and we have at the back what is going to be a forestry area. So I'll designate that as forestry in a moment. However, I'm not too sure whether or not we need a metal detector here. I don't think we do because if they come and work in here they have to then go out the workshop through this metal detector. But if they have strong, can they climb over that fence? I don't think they do. I think they only try to climb over a fence when they see an escape opportunity rather than a way to avoid the metal detector. I could be wrong about that behaviour pattern, but, you know, we'll have to see. So over to intelligence and informants, we can see we have a deadly trait on one of our... on Ashby here. A deadly trait on one of our prisoners, and also Venning has some unknown traits too. We've also got still unknown traits there. A couple of things that we're finding, and obviously we've got a couple of things here that we can see we do have arranged as well. The parole, by the way, is, as we can see, working fine, which is good. Over to here, we're not seeing that work. I'm just going to double check to see if that is actually set up. That'll actually be in our prison labour. That is actually set, so it says, requires kitchen safety and hygiene, so... Hmm... We'll have to see if that is the case. At least we've got a nice bit of intake there, so that is fine. Over to jobs, I'm going to assign max jobs 20, so I'll assign all the people to that, and we'll also go ahead and 
you know what? I'm probably going to increase that loan again, even though it's going to put us on some minuses. I think we just need more stuff in here. So over to objects and to our workshop saws. And we're just going to finish this off. I don't think there's any reason why we can't finish this off, apart from, you know, it's going to cost us money. Over to our rooms and then to our forestry. And the forestry will be placed with a gap of at least one all the way around the outside because it can place trees there and you harvest around it so I don't want it close to the edge because it can start to wreck foundations at least historically it could I don't know if that is the case now I'm also going to place some nice grass all the way around the outside like so I'm not going to place it in the center because I oh actually it might automatically destroy it but let's I'll tell you what I'll place it anyway and we'll see what it's like we've got the money there so we might as well spend it and as you can see we are still waiting for the guards to open this door i think the time yeah i think we do need an automatic door opener don't we the fact that i've been manually for half the game opening doors sort of uh, is a test testament to that one so we're going to go for a door control system and that can go over on the far left hand side probably about there is fine i don't intend to have any more than one door control system certainly at the moment but We'll have to see how we get on. So door servo can go there. Door servo can go in there as well as ooh, probably there as well. So that can be cleaned. We have these as... Uh, I don't want to necessarily have these on automatic door openers because there's no real need for them. I don't think there's any real need for them there, but this one certainly has been a problem. These ones we already lock open because there's no reason not to leave them open really if someone goes in there it's not a security problem same as these ones here these can always be locked open because if we ever want them closed we can close them by just using the lockdown it's not a big problem so yeah people still working in the shop which is good people are not working in the in the kitchen but they might eventually hmm might take some time currently lock up check our regime here yeah so they'll start cooking now so I'm gonna double check here programs kitchen safety and hygiene between one and three okay so missed it missed it yeah why is it running between one and three two of them oh sorry no, it's 11 and one and one and three so it's early in the day. So it's just been unlucky that I've not spotted that. Anyway, over to utilities and to connections. And we'll connect up the servo to the servo in there. The other ones haven't yet been installed, so that's a problem. I'm going to focus on that and prioritise that as well. Prioritised. Prioritised. So that should hopefully fix a lot of those issues. This is not surrounded by walls and doors. I fail to agree. Ah, no. That door then. Okay, that door is obviously not substantial enough to class as a useful door for the purposes of that. So it means that another door servo is required. Not a big problem. So, just wait for them to complete that. I think another CCTV monitor. Yes, yeah, I'm waiting for that door to open before they can connect it. There we go. And that should now function. No. Right, so it will be because of that section there, I'm guessing, then. Easy fix, I guess. There we go. Easy fix. Prison labour. Assigned to there, but not assigned to forestry. Add a logistics menu. Allows you to work in forestry. But add a logistics menu. Um, I don't have access to it. I think it's because deliveries is not set up and such that way. It could be that. It could be that. I can also assign anyone to the mail room, which we might as well do. Yeah, there's the rope that can be nicked from there. Don't like that. That's min-sec. Yeah. A medium. That should work fine. Okay. And nobody's on the CCTV monitor for some strange reason. Let's go over to our intelligence informants. We have some traits there. Strong, stalker, deadly, fearless, and a couple of unknowns. 
Just having a quick glance around. Not seeing any traits. There's no unknown traits. Oh no, there's still unknown traits there, Venning. But the rest seem fine. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at our grading then. We can see that reoffending rate has dropped 3% uh, from 14 to 11. 28 prisoners released. Of those, 11 have been paroled early. Punishment has increased by one point, up to seven. We have reform. I can't remember whether that's gone up or down, but it feels like it might have been on three before, but I'm not too sure. Health on minus one, so an increase, and security... Uh, another increase of one. So overall, pretty good. Obviously, prison is now valued a little bit higher. But at this stage, we haven't yet produced a single license plate. So money is a little bit tight. But we do have the ability to now at least work in the workshop when I find it. It is our workshop safety induction. We will start running that. The amount of people can work in there is quite high. So we'll set two programs on the go there. We only have one. Oh, hang on. Wait. Is that... No, it's fine. I was going to say, the reason did it not get forestry because it's tied to legal? It's not, because legal is its own thing, which I will research for posterity. But yeah, we have all that set up, so that is fine. So I want to put some flooring in here, but I'll do that next episode. Speaking of next episode, we will obviously crack on and see how far we get. Overall, though, pretty happy with the progress. We've got the forestry and the workshop in, and all of the little... Um, niggling little bits that have been annoying myself and uh, <laughs> apparently yourself on like you know to get certain things fixed like the extra windows and these bits here and the little bit of flooring here and there and some of the doors that we placed but overall I'm pretty happy there not too bad at all at least this one is I believe functioning it seems to this one um, be looking between was it 11 and 1 so it should be hitting 11 now so we'll see if anyone actually works in there we have people cleaning up in here. All the food trays are getting cleaned up. But no people working. Our kitchen safety and hygiene. It says 23 interested, but they are not working. That says starting to run that. But I'm seeing not a single soul work in there. Well, I'm not going to run two. No reason. No reason. Okay. Fine. So I'm going to decrease our bank loan by a little bit. We are still, we're actually getting, ooh, an escape. There's another escape across that fence. It's a known issue. Uh, we can't really fix it without expanding, but that is a task for us at a future time. So next episode, get the flooring in for this workshop and... Do I want... Do I want to get another workshop? I don't think I do. This should suffice for the time being. But it means then, finishing these areas, and then think about expansion. Expansion's going to cost 30 grand. We don't have the money, but we're not really going to get the money. Because we need cell block C done, which we can't get before <laughs> until we expand. So it's uh, a bit of a problem there. Either way, we will, at minimum, sort this workshop out and perhaps build these rooms over here. But we'll see how we get on. As always, if you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.